Hi, I am Prakash Shruti. In this video, you will learn what is meant by homogenization of the milk, its basic principle, outline the production process and merits and demerits of the homogenization of the milk in the milk processing industry. First, what is meant by homogenization process? Homogenization, it is a size reduction unit operations in which by the application of the force liquid food containing solid constituents size reduction is carried out in the milk homogenization process milk containing fat globules in the range of 2 to 12 micron this fat globule size reduction is carried out by application of the mechanical treatment to reduce the fat globule size below 2 micron then finally we get the homogeneous milk is called homogeneous uh, homogenized milk if the milk is treated with the homogenization process then on the packet declare with the homogenized and the specific heat treatment why the milk is homogenized in between the milk processing treatment the basic application is that after the homogenization there should be the no cream separation in the milk during the processing due to the homogeneous mixture we get the rich appearance and the thick body produce the soft curd easily digestible and less susceptible to the oxidation process some of the demerits of the homogenization process due to the homogenization increasing the production cost fat from the return homogenized milk is difficult to solving sediment is greater may produce the rancidity if the temperature is not kept adequate what is the basic principle of the homogenization process Basic principle of the homogenization process. In the homogenization process, the milk containing fat globules, these are the fat globules, they are in ununiform size in the range of 2 to 12 microns. These ununiform fat globules are converted into the uniform by the homogenization process. The fat globule size reduction is carried out due to they are uniformly distributed and finally we get the homogeneous mixture it is in the homogenization process the basic production process of the homogenization the homogenization treatment is carried out in between the pasteurization or the sterilization treatment that means in between the heat treatments the basic steps involving in the first that is the milk is preheated up to 60 to 70 degrees celsius and then fit into the homogenizer in the homogenizer we require to high pressure for the homogenization pressures in which single stage or two stage homogenization process the pressure requirement in the first stage in the range of 2000 to 2500 psi which is generated by using the positive displacement pump by using two or more positive displacement pump like the reciprocating pump milk which is pressurely fed into the homogenizer before feeding the milk is first preheated then pass into the reciprocating pump and then feed with the high velocity into the pressure homogenizer in the pressure homogenizer basically you can see the specific there should be the specific wall the gap between the wall is very small that is the slightly more than the 2 micron in which high pressure preheated milk which is passed in between the wall this wall is adjustable as per our requirement we can adjust the internal pressure and due to the high turbulence and the shearing force resulting the size reduction of the fat globule is take place. What are the factors which are affected on the specific uh, efficiency of the homogenization? In which first there is the specific pressure and the stage applied of the homogenization. Homogenization may be carried out into the single stage or the two stage specific depending on the initial fat content and the pressure varies as per our requirement. Mostly in the first stage pressure is used for in the range of 2000 to 3000 maximum and the second stage 500 psi pressure the second important point that is the temperature of the homogenization process initially first milk is preheated to 60 to 70 degrees celsius minimum 
to melt the milk containing fat and after that homogenization process is carried out then third important point that is the milk containing fat percentage if the milk containing high percentage of the fat then efficiency of the homogenization is lowered and whatever the specific temperature if the proper temperature is used to increase the efficiency of the homogenization process you can see two stage pressure homogenization in which the preheated milk is passed into the first stage this is the first wall and then milk passed into the second stage this is the second wall this wall is adjustable as per our pressure requirements there should be the provision to maintain the flow rate pressures and also provided the reciprocating pumps these are the references used for this PowerPoint presentation. In this video discussion, you learn what is meant by homogenized milk, its principle of the production process, and what are the merits and demerits. Thank you very much.